Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Let's grab a beverage of your choice. Because today we will be reviewing the complete Voodoo Volume 3 hardback, The Chilling Archives of Horror Comics. Introduced by Mike Howlett and edited and designed by Craig Yo. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, Y, Y O E. Uh, this it is, it is published by IDW, or at least put into the archive thing by um, by IDW. These are a collection of comments from Voodoo Magazine, and these are all pre-code uh, comments. They were published originally in 1950s, obviously, because that's when pre-code is. Um, I, you know, I, I've been a fan of this stuff for a long time, and so I'm trying to get these things, a lot of these things collected. Look, look at this, look how shiny that is. It's like, ooh, squirrel. Uh, but some of the other, I mean, uh, some of the magazines and stories are better than others. Most of these uh, stories in here are pretty good. They, they all follow the same standard, uh, what do you call it, outline. You, know, you, you get the setup, you have then it runs to the conclusion and there's a twist at the end. Usually, if it's a bad guy doing something, uh, they will succeed, you know, and if they succeed, then there's this twist at the end where they get their comeuppance somehow it, through a kind of twisted, twisted way. Or you know, there's somebody going up against, you know, uh, you have, you know, someone investigating a series of murders and they think that somebody's a vampire and it turns out somebody else is a vampire or <clears throat> so, the, so you, you, you know how it's going to work but it's fun to read some of the twists and you know just the interesting takes on the stories but these ones the, the voodoo ones are these ones Despite having the same, you know, art, you know, some the art on here is usually is pretty good. It's not as good as some of like uh, the EC, you know, Tales from Crypt stuff. The art is good, but some of the stories are just not up to the par of, you know, the uh, Vault of Horror, Tales from the Crypt, uh... Stuff like that. Not to say that they're bad. Because they're not. There's just... Just a slight bit... Lower in quality. And it's still really good quality. But, uh... I am... Um, 
I still found it really enjoying. I mean, I mean, some of these stories, I mean, the imagination behind these stories and the things they have to do. You know, the, uh, some of the stories they came up with, you, you had to, you know, be really original back then to come up with these things because there, there were certain limitations you could operate under back in the day. And this was even still while pre-code. I mean, there's you, I'm sure you, you couldn't show a lot of the actual violence. You couldn't see someone... Sh- actually getting their head cut off, but you could you know, see the after effect. You know, there's that famous uh, uh, cover, I think it's on one of the Tales of the Crypt of someone holding a bloody head up and all that. So you could you could show that, but you can't see, show that, and there's you know, certain things they couldn't, way of saying things, and, you know. So they had to be a lot more careful how they did it, which showed, you know, which made it more interesting and, you know, shows a lot more imagination and leaves it up to here on certain things, which makes it even, you know, that makes things more scary sometimes is when you have to imagine what happens as opposed to actually seeing it. That could be more frightening. (laughs) But, uh, I, you know, I, I am, I think I may have just lost my track train of thought there. But some of these stories in this one just aren't as interesting. Like I said, take this one right here. Let me die today. So dude and his fiance, or no, dude and his new wife are... On an island, and they're you know taking their honeymoon and all that, and they're walking along and they see this old lady sitting on the beach, and they're like, "Gosh, she's creepy," you know, yada yada yada, and she's just like all of a sudden she says, "Hey, uh, don't read what I you know don't if you dare don't read what I wrote on the beach." Okay, and so the girls just like. How? Let's go look. And the guy says, "Like, oh, it's no, she's creepy. Let's not do it." And so, it has the woman's name, birthday, your know, date and year, written in the sand. But then her, uh, uh, the day, the next day is written underneath it. And she's God, no biggie. And then, of course, the girl dies the next day. And. So dude is all freaking out and he and he's uh, he's all upset because his wife dies. So, but he's out on the beach again the next day, sees the woman again, and she says, Oh, oh don't look at the don't if you dare don't look at uh, what I wrote in the sand. And so he I mean he he knows what happened the first time? So he looks again, and it's a day like 40 years into the future. It's like, oh, I, 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 I'm so horribly upset. I can't, you know, I can't live without my wife, and, you know, I'm not going to live 40 years without her. So he tries to kill himself and can't. He, he sits in the water, you know, drowns himself, and he sits in the water for hours and still doesn't drown. And that's supposed to be the, you know, the, the horrible aspect of it that he has to live for 40 years and not die. Uh, so, you know, some of these are just like, okay, that's a little odd. But I like them. I like them, you know. For everyone that's like that, there's some more than entertaining ones. So I'm going to give this... I kind of love this cover right here. I'm going to give this... A 3.75 out of 5. Just because some of them weren't as good as they could have been. But uh, I have to tell you, I'm still overall pleased 
with this. I'm glad that I can have this in my collection. I've got a couple more to read, but I still have all these other uh, non-horror books to read. Uh, but, uh, like my Moon Knight Omnibus number one that I'm still working on. And, uh, but I'm going to put this away, get to some other stuff, but just uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this, if you've read it, what you think of pre-code horror, and if you think there are different uh, levels of quality in these. Um, anyway, like, subscribe, most of all, enjoy your horror comics.